Now, it was Goebbels who said, if you tell a lie that's big enough and repeat it often enough, the people will believe it. And right now, we're going to expose a lie that is an absolute whopper and it's cooking the planet and costing Australians daily via electricity prices. It's the big gas lie. The first lie is renewable gas or sustainable gas. You know, the coal people, they've tried with their clean coal, that didn't work. And now the gas people are trying with their renewable gas line and sustainable gas. Yes, you can make gas from renewables, but it's highly expensive and not commercially viable. And we are paying for these projects via public subsidies. The second lie, we need more supply says the gas lobby and their sycophants in the mainstream media. It's a weekly thing. We need more supply. Supply is the problem. The gas price is so high because we don't drill enough gas. We do. We're the biggest LNG exporter in the world. And if you look at this chart, that great big red blob on the chart is gas supply. Gone through the roof when they opened up the LNG market in 2014, but prices have also gone through the roof. So how is that? So much supply, yet such soaring prices for the biggest gas exporter, LNG exporter in the world. Regulation has failed so badly in Australia that we're setting up import terminals to import back into Australia the gas that we've shipped overseas. Meanwhile, in Japan, Japanese customers are paying lower prices for Australian gas than Australians do. That brings us to our next point. It's the market. Don't interfere in the market, they say. But it's not a market. It's a cartel of four multinational companies fracking and drilling offshore for gas. They're rigging prices in order to rip off domestic consumers and send the profits. And we're talking the biggest profits in the world at the moment because gas prices are so high out to tax havens. Now, all this is backed up by independent experts reports, which are produced all the time in the mainstream media. When we say independent experts report, we reports, we wrap that in big, fat, black, inverted commas, because these guys are experts at doing PR for the people that are paying them. So the gas lobby pays the independent expert, and the independent expert says things like, if we interfere in the market, it will cost $70 billion it will put at risk $70 billion worth of exports and wealth. It's jobs, jobs, jobs. This industry creates jobs. It's a huge light. Very few people work in it compared to Woolies or Coles. Of course, there's the royalties and taxes argument too. But if you look at this chart by Daniel Bleakley of the Australia Institute, it's a classic. Norway is a massive fossil fuel exporter as well, but they regulate the industry properly. They tax it properly and therefore it produces very good revenues for the benefit of all Norwegians, not for the benefit of foreign corporations and their lobbyists. And the way that it works is follow the money. The gas companies make payments to the governments. They call them political donations. They spend a lot of money on lobby groups and on mainstream media. We're talking here Nine Entertainment principally and News Corp's The Australian. These are the two big players that just reproduce press releases. Replicating these lies on a daily, on a weekly basis, 24-7, 365 days a year, this lie is then picked up by morning TV, morning radio, other media outlets, and they all run it as truth. Markets, supply, exports between states, a massive, gigantic, lie. Thanks for your support. We hope to bring you some great stuff over the Christmas period.